Hey, Air Signs, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have for January the 9th. What messages do we have? Okay, for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, somebody speaking their peace. Truth's coming out. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What message do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. January the 9th, 2019. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. January the 9th, 2019. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Whoa. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. January the 9th. 2019 y'all I got distracted because my kids fixing him a sandwich right and like I always smell my food and stuff and I just watched him sniff the meat <laughs> it was so funny because <laughs> he's me <laughs> he's me <laughs> so let's see what we got oh queen of pentacles there's an underlying energy um could be really trying to nurture yourself after something has ended there's some type of ending the betrayals have ended um the lies the the heartache all them swords under there have ended so you're definitely nurturing yourself right now manifesting something new manifesting a new cycle a new life manifesting some wealth someone may be offering you some sort of apology but this is definitely someone very much independent gain their independence gaining their independence um trying to manifest something brand spanking new trying to manifest wealth someone's trying to manifest wealth all right then So you're really thinking about something, you know, getting something under your belt as an independent entity, whether you're male or female. This is someone that is trying to have their fruits come into fruition. Some of you guys may be gaining your independence from an actual relationship. This could be the Queen of Pentacles nurturing yourself, um, gaining independence from some type of manipulation. The world card here, something has come to a close, but this is also... On the upside of the world card, yes, something has come to a close, but this means that there's a job well done, meaning you, you've paid off whatever karmic debt you've had, and you're gaining your independence. You're gaining your foundation, your wealth, your personal wealth, whatever that means to you, whether it's money, love, um, abundance, popularity, you're gaining it. So with the magician here, this is someone who, who, who. It was moving in a new direction. Obviously, Queen of Wands most definitely popped up there. Some of you guys may be manifesting. Seriously, some of you guys may be manifesting. Don't put that in in a. Don't put that in there. Get it up out of there. And you pressing too many numbers for a sandwich. No. So someone is maybe manifesting a movement in a new direction, searching for the path, going within themselves. This can be someone new that someone's searching for, a way to get to them, um, trying to bring peace to a situation. Someone's trying to handle whatever. Okay, so you're manifesting a new direction for yourself, trying to handle whatever responsibilities you've had, pay off whatever debts you retreated. Whatever you're handling your responsibilities, meaning you're buckling down and you're getting some things done, bringing peace to a situation. Some of you guys may be cutting someone out, um, moving, detaching. This is six source. You're, de you're detaching from drama, which means with this ten of swords, like I said, whatever this was in the past, that's over. You're getting away from the past. You're getting away from the illusions. You're really going within yourself, trying to manifest a movement forward. I don't actually see anything negative coming from that with the world card here. Why is this world card here? Why is this world card here? Why is this world card here? So before you were in a state of suspension with a relationship, but you made a decision. So this decision's been made. Now you're manifesting your own personal wealth. Whatever decision you were at a crossroads about before, you may still be on the fence a little bit, or you may not be just seeing you see it I, I don't see i don't see you being stuck i actually see you trying to manifest something for yourself so you're not stuck you may have been on a fence before you may have been in suspension before but you've decided to make plans to move forward whether or not you're actually doing that whether or not someone else sees you doing that you're making plans to move forward someone may not see it so either 
for some of y'all, for some of you guys, the person that you're moving toward doesn't see it. For others of you, the person that you're moving away from doesn't see that you've gained your independence, but they will very um, shortly here. So with this page of Pentacles here, this can be understanding your worth, seeing what you have of value. Someone else could be seeing what you have of value. There's an end to that though. You've gained your independence. So listen. <laughs> You were at an imbalance before. So you retreated from a situation, allowed transformation to happen to something that you've put in a lot of time in. You're no longer putting in the work that you were putting into something. You've retreated from that and you've gained your independence. Someone could be trying to apologize to you to kind of stop you from actually making a decision to move forward. So decisions been made here. Somebody could be again, and this is like a constant. So whoever y'all dealing with is a bugaboo. Um, but this is a constant for y'all. Someone trying to stop you from moving forward you're moving forward you're making decisions to move forward um ten of pentacles here why is this ten of pentacles here this is wealth this is seeing clearly that you need to find the courage to leave the past in the past some of you guys may be understanding your worth within a situation nurturing yourself no longer nurturing um this cycle that you were nurturing before so some of y'all definitely did get out of a relationship the seven pentacles can represent a relationship family situations family issues some of you guys may see clarity about a family issue now you're finding the strength to really go after what you desire what you want from this physical life thus nine of pentacles being the outcome you're moving toward your confidence very i mean moving toward your foundation very confident about the movements that you're making this is you like I'm done with that. With whatever that was that was taking advantage of me, I'm done with that and I'm nurturing myself. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like it's time for you to go towards something new. Gain control, Emperor here. It's the Emperor here, the Temperance card. You feel like it's time for you to gain some control um, and go towards something new. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Taurus, um, Sagittarius. You're definitely moving towards something new. Ace of Wands, a brand new, spanking new opportunity. And how I always see these together, and I may be the only person that sees this, but in the regular right away, the Emperor and the the Emperor and the guy that holds the Ace of Wands. No, that's not the right away. It's a whole nother deck. I think it's the Mythic deck. I can't remember. But in one of my decks, the Emperor and the person that's on the Ace of Wands card is the same person. So it's almost like the Emperor is gaining control of his life because the Ace of Wands is someone that is basically has a new life the emperor here is gaining control of his life and giving himself a brand new life by concentrating on his own foundation so you're manifesting wealth for you based off what it whatever that means for you for some of you guys this may mean freedom for others of you this may mean love um this could be a job money whatever the case may be you're manifesting your freedom you've got it so let's see what messages we have for gemini libra and aquarius what messages are guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Ooh. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. All right. So we got endings and beginnings. I told y'all, y'all walking away from something. It says the old must be released so that the new can enter. Some of you guys need to release judgments about yourself, others, and focus on the light and love that is within everyone. Understanding that you're becoming increasingly sensitive. So avoid harsh relationships, chemicals, situations, and environments. That's all I have, y'all. Peace.